In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass. Thursday of the 26th week of Ordinary Time, Feast of St. Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, Archangels. God bless you, dear family. Today, in the Heart of the Word, we celebrate the great feast of the Archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. As Pope St. Gregory the Great taught, the word archangel denotes a function rather than a nature. The word angel in Greek means messenger, angeloi. Angels deliver messages from God to God's people throughout creation. Archangels deliver the supreme messages of God. The names of the archangels reveal who they are and their specific mission. As Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI taught, each archangel has the name of God inscribed in its being. He says this because El, Mikael, Gabriel, Raphael, El in Hebrew means God. So an archangel is so close to God, always living in the presence of God, that the nature of God is written within their very name. They share in God's own nature, according to their stature, as archangels. At the same time, they are sent by God to announce and defend his works. Michael, from the Hebrew, Mikael, means who is like God. Gabriel, Gabriel, means God is my strength. Gaber, he, el. And Raphael, Raphael, means God has healed me. Michael cast out the fallen angels from heaven with the cry, Michael, who is like God? Gabriel was chosen to announce the Annunciation to Our Lady, and therefore the most powerful work of God in history, the incarnation of the eternal word made flesh in the immaculate womb of Our Lady. And Raphael, in the book of Tobit, saved Sarah from a horrific demon and brought healing to Tobit so that he could see again. He mediated the healing power of God. Today, my brothers and sisters, let us all give thanks to God for these great creatures and supremely powerful intercessors. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. With Our Lady and Saint Joseph and the Child Jesus, let us trust in the help of the Archangels and let us ask to live always under their powerful protection. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.